How's it going everybody? My name is Dan and this is DTM Design. Welcome to another one day build video. Today I'm going to be doing a little different than building a little model or something. Uh, we're actually going to be doing uh, screen printing a t-shirt. It's going to be a multi-colored shirt. Uh, so it's going to have multiple layers to the process. And throughout this video I'll kind of teach you how screen printing works and how you can use a vinyl cutter to do it. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video and here we go. So to start this process out, um, I pretty much went ahead and found uh, the image that I wanted to be recreating. And from this one, it is the, it's a free inside uh, toy that was on a Doritos bag from the early 1999 uh, Star Wars. And pretty much I'm just going through on Illustrator and recreating each layer of each different color that I am going to include. So like the C3PO you can see has some like reflective lighting and stuff. I'm not be gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna be doing solid color, but pretty much I go through, use the pen tool to create all this stuff, um, image trace to kind of get some of this, some of the black lining that I need and just deleting what I don't. And just pretty much building up this image that's built into several different layers as you can see here. And those will be the different layers I use to screen print. Now using, uh, the vinyl cutter software i go and i bring those in and i create the line works and the cut pass for the blade on the vinyl cutter and then reverse those images and then those will be used on the screen to print the t-shirt and so you'll see how that all happens throughout the rest of this video <laughs> Alright, so we're not in my usual working area that I do the videos in. This is just my little office area. Uh, this is where I have my screen printing stuff set up. So pretty much for screen printing, you have you need your screen, obviously. What you would like to print on, a good hard surface to print on top of. Um, I also like to put something in between the shirt. It's a good divide so the ink doesn't seep through to the other side of your t-shirt when you're printing. Um, I just use some foam core. It's uh, pretty simple. They have it at pretty much all arts and craft stores. You should be able to find it. Uh, it's not always white. Sometimes it's black or other colors. So you can you know, get whatever color you choose. But yeah, so pretty much just have a plain cotton shirt. And we have the foam things. And you guys saw me creating the entire... Um, image and design that we're going to be doing today, which is the Star Wars Doritos bag uh, free inside toy uh, t-shirt, I guess I would call it. I don't know. But uh, so we have all the pieces. So these are all the different layers that we created on the computer together. Um, so that'd be the red layer. This is obviously C-3PO and all that. And like I showed earlier, uh, we reversed, reversed all these images. So there's a mirrored effect. So as you can see, uh, it's written backwards for you, but that's because we attach it onto this side of the screen like that And then when you push it down, it's the right way uh, The right way around and you can pull your ink through here and squeegee your design. So That's the process pretty much with that um, These screens do come in a few different screen sizes. So when I what I mean by that is like this is a hundred and sixty uh, screened mesh so the holes are 160 millimeters or something like per millimeter I don't really know like the math behind it so I'm not going to try to explain it but that's just like pretty much the holes are a little bigger and it lets uh, more ink flow through the screen whereas this one this is a 300 screen so uh, it's more for smaller de like a very fine detailed design and uh, you just have to push a little harder to get the ink through. Um, but it does still print about the same, but it's just for different uh, levels of detail that you're working with. This is better for small, very fine detail stuff. It'll really help uh, make it print correctly. So pretty much what we're gonna be doing, I'll be mixing up the inks, um, and I'll be teaching you the process as I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, here we go. We're gonna start off, we're gonna get one of the layers going. Uh, you wanna work in, uh, you wanna go light, lightest color to darkest color when you're doing screen printing um, because you can't, light can't go over top of dark, uh, like a dark ink. It'll just seep into it and you won't be able to see it. Um, you know, pretty, 
pretty basic color type stuff if you know anything about art of coloring in things and stuff like that like drawing on black is impossible pretty much um, and if i was doing this on a black shirt you would have to do an entire squeegee pass of white ink in the shape of what you're doing to real for the color to actually pop on a black shirt um, like the shirt i'm wearing this toyota one this had a white all these lines have white underneath them and then i printed the color each separately to create this multicolored shirt so um, the first color that we're definitely going to be starting with here is the lightest color, which is the yellow and the bronze C3PO. The last one we're going to be doing is the black lines and black uh, artwork, which pretty much brings the entire piece together. So it's a really fun process to watch. Um, so yeah, so then let's just pretty much get going. What we want to do is bring our shirt here. Um, kind of see, now I'm printing on the back of this and then we're going to be printing something on the front as well. Uh, but the main design is going on the back of the t-shirt and what you want to do is just make sure it's stretched over this nice and perfect. No, uh, you know, I'm going to clean it up a little bit here in a second, but just for rough showing of the camera, you would kind of do that. And then you have a piece of acetate, which you will use. So pretty much you'll put this over, you'll put, we'll stick our design here. We'll pull it down, we'll squeegee across, that'll leave an imprint here, and then we can sit here and adjust where the design is going to be going on the shirt. Move this out of the way, pull the screen down, and then do another squeegee, and the color will lay down. And then we'll, let, we'll um, use a heat gun to cure the ink and dry it, and then we'll clean off this, we'll clean off the screen, and we'll switch it out for the next layer, and we'll go from there. So, we'll get started on this first layer right now. Just the transfer tape. That's kind of where the shirt is going to be sitting. And so, and I want to kind of roughly choose where the design is going to go. About four or three fingers from the top of the collar is usually a good positioning for uh, a design on the back. Um, up in the front, about the same, probably a full hand down is a good positioning for the back. And then the rest, I kind of just eyeball. But I've done this for a little while. Um, so maybe use some markers or tape off some areas if it's, you're kind of new to this. Um, so pretty much once I have that like that, I'm gonna peel this backing off and I'm literally gonna pull the screen down like this and just tap it so it's sitting exactly where I kinda want it to land. Um, just making alignment easier and all that stuff, knowing that it's gonna get onto this acetate well and just knowing I'm not gonna have it in a position on the screen where I can't get where I want it to go on the shirt over there. So like I'm saying, if I put it here, there's no way I can get the middle of the shirt under past these hinges, so. Um, yeah, I have this yellow right here that will be used for this piece and this part. And then uh, it took me a little bit of time, but I finally got sort of an, a see-through PO uh, metallic brownish gold. I used like a pearl white, uh, metallic pearl white that I had, some yellow and some orange, uh, a little bit of like brown uh, ink that I had, and have official ink screen printing brown. So I did that, but yeah, that's what that looks like two different size squeegees. Here's a bigger one that would probably be used for like a full large pull like that. Um, and here's the small one that has a shit ton of ink on it. Hang on. So another thing, always good to make sure your hands are nice and clean before you touch anything that's going to be, uh, that's important. Make sure your table is clean before you move like a sleeve over there. You don't want to get ink on some random little spot of your shirt. Uh, it's really annoying. And then, you know, People see it, it, you already have, it's a brand new shirt you just created and it's already stained in a weird spot. No one likes that. <clears throat> so, first thing is first, like I said, I have my design on the screen. I have my shirt here. I have my clear acetate ready to go. Um, I don't really have to worry about the alignment of the shirt too much. Just make sure it's in the general area. I'm gonna put this down. Or pulling, you wanna make sure you don't pull off onto an open part of the screen right here. So like, I'm gonna tape that off just for safety. I don't want to get ink anywhere. I don't want it. Um, and when you get into the process of printing, you can kind of lose focus on focusing on certain stuff. You can lose focus on certain stuff and pull your ink past where you have it blocked off. And you may have said before, I'm not going to do that, but you'll still do it. So yeah, there we go. That side's all patched up now. So now I have the screen ready to go here. Let me just, I'm going to get some yellow. And I, for me, I think the best way is going, pulling in this way for this layer. Um, and again, this is on the acetate, so it's not 
you know, mission critical that this comes out like perfect, perfect right away. Uh, probably easiest is to put a big spread of yellow right across there like that. Uh, my yellow is kind of shitty right now, but it'll do the job. Go from the top for this one. All right, so now that we have our inks laid down, the first step is to lightly drag the squeegee over your opening or your design or your stencil, whatever you want to call it. And you want to flood the screen so that the ink is in every part of the design and you're not missing uh, any part of the design. I'm going to wipe off a little bit of excess yellow off of this onto this paper towel. Be careful where that paper towel ends up because you don't know what kind of mess it'll make. And then we're going to do the same thing here. You just want to flood the C3PO shape. Okay. So then you want to kind of slightly push down the screen, get a nice, good, uh, like 30, 40, not a 45, but like a 35 or something like that angle, 45 maybe. And just have a nice pressured pull across the design. And then you want to do the same over here. And so, yeah, uh, let me double check, make sure you can see that My design. And as you can see, it's just on the acetate. So it's not on the shirt yet. And so what I'm going to do is sit here and align this. So now, like I said, the four three finger rule is what I'm going to follow here. And I'm just going to try to get this, um, this try to keep this like exactly where you found it. It's not like it won't kill you if it's a little off, but when it comes to lining up, um, other like the extra parts to this, it's actually a little more key than it is now. This is first placement. So wherever you place this, everything follows uh, alignment wise and all that. Okay. That looks good to me. I'm gonna get a little more centered, a little lower. All right, so right there, that's where I'm going to call it. That's where the design is going to be sitting for the rest of the print and the build. Uh, I mean, obviously I'll move this around, but that's, we're making it official where the design is going to be on the shirt with this next print. So once that's good, you want to try not to move anything and you just want to slowly bring this down. So, we want to lather up this yellow nice and heavy because this is the official print. We don't want any thin open holes on our print. Okay. First layer went off without a hitch. Um, it was a little struggle with the ink and everything because the yellow is really shitty. But yeah, there's the first layer. Let me do a little zoom in for you. So we got the first layer. We got C3PO and some of the, uh, I guess, popping yellow parts for advertisement, whatever you want to call that. All right, so now what we got to do, we'll use <clears throat> this heat gun here and we'll dry that. And then we'll get the next layer going and I'll show you how to line something up. And then from there, we just do all the layers and the shirt will be done. All right, so we're moving on to the next layer here. So I already have it all set up. This is the red layer. So this is like the words, uh, 3D dish motion, uh, 3D motion disc, collect all 20 free inside. So pretty much what we're going to do since I didn't have to mix up the sink, it's going to work a lot faster, a lot smoother than the last one. It was just a lot more work. So what I'll do is make sure this is nice and taut, nice and flat, laying where we want it, remembering kind of where it is. So it doesn't shift a little bit at all when we go to print on the actual shirt. So what I'm gonna do, same as last time, put some ink here, flood it, print it, line it, move the screen, print it on the official thing, and then dry it, clean it, 
And after that, we're just gonna pound through the rest of these. I don't need to show you step by step of how it's going, you kind of get the idea. And then we'll get to our final result. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. So here we go. Right, guys, I'm sorry, I didn't even realize I didn't hit record, but we have the second color down. Um, so the same process I printed on, I gotta be very careful not to touch this down onto the shirt right now, but I printed onto this clear stuff right here. Um, we did our test print, then we went and aligned it to where we needed to put it onto the shirt. Um, pulled down, squeegee, just like we did all before. I had a little bit of over, um, a little bit of bleed on some of these letters, but hopefully the black ink uh, will cover up my mistakes. If not, we'll just have to live with them. It's screen printing, that kind of stuff happens. It can't always be perfect. You can try your best and prevent anything from happening, but little things can still happen. But for a homemade shirt, I'm still very happy with it. Uh, I'm just gonna have to heat uh, cure it, and then we'll move on to these last two layers. We got the black and the blue. I'm gonna be doing the black next, and then the blue, because it's really hard to line up where this blue needs to go without this explosion of black already there. Goes a little against the rule of light to dark when you're printing, but um, the blue's kind of a dark color anyways, and it'll go over and it'll just blend into the black. You won't even see where the transition is, so it's not that big of a deal. The Star Wars Trilogy is back on the big screen and the selected bags of Doritos. Celebrate with Star Wars 3D motion cards. Collect all six of specially marked bags of Doritos tortilla chips. All right, everybody, that was this week's one day build. I had a lot of fun uh, screen printing and showing the process and creating that shirt together. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see more of it, just let me know. Uh, also, you can go check out any of my other videos. I have plenty of other build videos to check out. And uh, if you can just please comment, like, and subscribe below, I'd really appreciate it. And it helps my channel a whole bunch. And so I'll see you guys in the next one and have a great day.